Good morning everyone, I'm Paul Naden. I lead the photography team at church and with my wife Jill we are regional pastors to Thameside and run a small group in Staley Bridge. We're currently delving into the Bible here at Audacious, discussing some of our most meaningful verses. My personal favourite Bible verse is actually a set of three similar verses found in the book of Daniel. Each verse involves a visitation from the angel Gabriel and it's Gabriel who speaks these verses to Daniel. In chapter 9 verse 23 he says, At the beginning of your pleas for mercy a word went out and I come to tell it to you, for you are greatly loved. And in chapter 10 verse 11 he says, O Daniel man, greatly loved, understand the words I speak to you and stand upright, for now I have been sent to you. And again in verse 19 he says, O man, greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. Three times the archangel tells Daniel that he's greatly loved. Keep tracking with me because it gets very interesting. We see in chapter 9 that Daniel was uh, very familiar with the book of Jeremiah. This is the same Jeremiah who wrote, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Daniel then already knew he was loved. So what's going on here? It's my belief that Gabriel knew that Daniel needed to hear this again and again. Bible truths take time to travel from the head to the heart. I'm the same. I need to hear it again and again. I am greatly loved. This is my medicine verse. Do you know that you're greatly loved too? God is crazy about you and he loves you to bits. Jill and I know that we love each other, but we tell each other every day anyway, because we do need to hear it. My question for you is, what Bible verse do you need to hear again and again? What's your medicine verse? If you do have a medicine verse, then speak it out. Keep taking the medicine. If you haven't got one yet, then find it, because there is one that's just right for you. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, church. Bye.